the most realistic online racing sim ever made. This is iRacing. Detailed laser scan tracks, fully dynamic real world cars, and over 50 series to choose from. Six online world championships offering over $100,000 in annual prizes. This is the original eSport racing game. This is iRacing. We take you down out of the track for our opening ceremonies. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise, please remove your hats. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light What so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free and the home Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Turn 3 Racing Network. As tonight, we are here with the OP Racing Butt Kicker Grand National Series. As I read that from top to bottom, left to right, I am all out of sorts because everything is going wrong for me. Once again, two nights in a row with OP. This is unreal. Let's try to move into greener pastures and go right into our starting line up for this one is my microphone even working okay holy cow it is anthony english in the 44 on the inside of row number one on the outside that is the 88 of gabe butler richard sanchez vicente guerrero make up row number two row three going to be jeff crosby jr and cody ingles in the six row four les levy and adam kilday row number five going to be dave hunt and dawson wise row six that is eric laurie and Zach Fritice in uh, the 12. Robert Morrison and Nate Warren make up row seven. Row seven, eight, nine. Row eight is Dana Shepard and David Booth. Row nine, Jimmy Reynolds and Adam Strom. Row number 10, Andy Brigante and Kevin Freeze. Dustin Logston and Bubba Winningham make up row 11. Row 12, Andrew Schroeder and Lynn McNeese and one driver who does not make it out there. That is Dustin Logston in the 81. He did not make the call to the grid as the field makes its way around once again. Off of turns three and four, we're going to get the green flag this time.
Here we go. Pace truck down and away. Green flag is out and race number one in our three race round of 16 drivers is underway. Anthony English, Gabe Butler, championship contending drivers out in front. English in the 44 has the advantage right now through one and two. Rick Sanchez in the five down on the bottom lane, the 33 and Jeff Crosby Jr. Pushing on them, three trucks working very well down on the bottom lane, but that outside lane has the momentum as this field gains speed this entire lap. Through three and four, everyone so far nice and steady. 44 of English has been out in front, but who is going to lead the first lap? Gabe Butler has the momentum, and Butler leads the opening lap at the line. Let's go ahead and take a moment and look at our race info for tonight's bumpy road presented by butt kicker this is race 14 of 19 throughout the season we have 16 drivers in playoff contention to settle it out with three races top eight drivers are going to advance that means you got to let it all hang out to have a shot at making it into the next round we will have our stage at halfway and one fast repair is available to our drivers here tonight. Logston in the 81 still has not made it out onto the speedway. I don't know if we're gonna see him out here tonight. Either way, he is going to have to dig himself out of a very deep hole now. trying to get caught up on everything. Oh my goodness. All I know is everything's just gone wrong for me right now, so two weeks in a row one software that's what's gone wrong tonight with software and Monday I got smacked in the face with a monitor so <laughs> it's not gone well <laughs> Vicente Guerrero in the 14 is out in front and I do want to say I appreciate you all sticking around despite all of the issues that I am having so thank you very much for that guys Logston has joined the race. 81 is out on the speedway. Bit of a late start, but the good news is, should we get two quick cautions right here, he might be back on the lead lap. Right now, he is, he is the only truck not in this group and not on the lead lap. Go ahead and take a look at our point standings as they came into the race here tonight. Eight drivers above the cutoff line. Eight drivers below the cutoff line. Right now they're all tied. So that uh, that just means that uh, the way we stacked them on these this cutoff line was uh, just arbitrary. It wasn't even alphabetical. It was like, bleh, there, you're, you're in. <laughs> so that being said, we do have 16 drivers battling to make it into the next round of playoff contention. 
some of our hot drivers right now are also some of our championship contenders. In fact, all of them are. And if you look, you'll see Adam Strom, one of those there. And Strom is a playoff contender in his rookie year. That is amazing to see Strom out here tonight with this one as a championship contender. Probably shouldn't have said out here tonight, but I don't think he is racing with us tonight. No, he is. He's out here. Wow, holy cow. Pay attention. Breathe, KR. Just breathe. Settle down. Catch your breath. We're good. We're good. Gabe Butler, Vicente Guerrero, Anthony English, Cody Niggles, and uh, Rick Sanchez. Scored as your top five as Dustin Logston going to go another lap down. So Logston two laps down right now. Drivers at the front. That is the 44 and the 88. There have been some changes from time to time throughout this almost nine, 10 lap run that we've had. But regardless, the 44 and the 88 have been very close to each other. Vicente Guerrero in the 14 trying to make something happen. But on the outside, here comes a new driver that is the six of Cody Nagels. He's trying to lead his first laps of the event. Drops all the way down to the inside. Cody to the point. Believe it or not, we finally are up to full tilt. Uh, that last time by, no one turned their best lap, but the previous lap, quite a few drivers turned their best lap of the race. Now they didn't have the fastest lap. That honor belongs to, for the moment, kind of look and see here. Andy Brigante, nope, Lynn McNeese at a 47.47 has the fastest lap of the race so far. So he really used the draft at the back of the pack a couple laps ago to pick up that fast lap. Dustin Logston in the 81 has joined at the tail end of this field. So he's where he needs to be to keep his chances alive in this race. Fuel window about to open up for everyone to make it to the end of stage one. So they are all working hard right now, but see them start to work or think about getting single file. Go ahead and take a look at what happened last week. Vicente Guerrero picked up the win. John Stevens brought it home in second and old Fritchie rounded out our podium. Rick Sanchez and Reynolds in the 17, that would be Jimmy, round out the top five. A Guerrero with a stage win and the race win last week. He was already locked into playoff contention, but went ahead and said, you know what? I just need a few more points to feel better about myself. And that's what happens when the Italian Stallion gets a sniff of that victory lane.
Cody Neagles, Jeff Crosby Jr. running one and two side by side. We got single file very quickly. For a while, we were three wide. And now these guys are starting to think about trying to get down to the bottom lane. Only one stage break in this race, and that will come at the completion of lap 35. Or should we get a yellow just before that? So as they continue to shuffle at the front of the field, let's go ahead and take a look at some of our drivers towards the back. Jimmy Reynolds in the 17. As they peel off for pit road, first half of the pack, it's pit lane. 10 drivers stay out, everyone else on the pit road. On board with Jimmy Reynolds as they made those pit stops. I would expect to see this half of drivers who did not pit that time go ahead and make their way on the pit road on the next lap. So Dawson Wise, our new race leader. Wise, Freeze, Butler, your top three right now, but these guys all have to hit pit road. And here they come. They are all going to peel off and make those stops. Got to get it woed down to pit road speed limit. First group, no issues. No speeding penalties handed out. Well, I say that, but Vicente Guerrero did get a penalty. So Guerrero in trouble. Crosby Jr. leading our drivers who have made a pit stop. He's going to try and get around Anthony English and Dawson Wise as they try to accelerate and get up to race pace. We ride on board one truck up over the yellow line. Looked like Lynn McNeese. And I think Crosby Jr. going to get by without issue. And Crosby makes it to the point. Vicente Guerrero in the 14, about to go a lap down. That speeding penalty he received, gonna cost him big time here in the stage one. Speaking of stages, as we get closer to it, let's go ahead and take a look at our stage winners so far this season. Only two drivers have repeat wins. Everyone else in the single digits. Only one opportunity to win a stage in each one of these races here on Wednesday night with the Grand National Series. Sanchez in the five, trying to work to the outside lane and make something happen. Sanchez up on the wheel, getting after it. At number five has the advantage, but now finally decides to drop down on the inside. I'm starting to think that maybe he was going to try and ride around in that second lane. Oh. 
new fast lap of the race. That belongs to the 62 of Les Levy. As Les makes his way onto the back stretch. Nate Warren, Lynn McNeese peeled off for pit road. As Levy drops down to the inside of Vicente Guerrero. Guerrero finding himself a lap down from his speeding penalty. Eric Lorry with a penalty as well. And Dustin Logston with a late start to the race. Now we have three, make it four drivers. Not on the lead lap, Lynn McNeese as he sits on pit road. Just got tagged for speeding as he peeled off for that pit stop. Penalty served, McNeese down and away. Want to give a shout out and thank you to everyone joining me here tonight. If you guys have a favorite driver, let me know who it is. Let me know how loudly you're cheering for them. Basically, just let the caps lock go. Just send it full send. Cheer to your heart's content. We're here to have fun. I hope you guys know that. Would love to have you guys saying everything you need to say about your favorite driver. Tell me how handsome he is. Tell me how beautiful she is. And if it's a dog that's your favorite driver, well, by golly, let me know why. As the 33 of Jeff Crosby Jr. and the 25 of Kevin Vries battle at the front of the field. Elva Feltz lets me know it is Richard Sanchez. That's her favorite driver, or his. Elva, I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to say Belva's favorite driver is Richard Sanchez, because I have no idea. From your YouTube title, whether guy or girl. That's <laughs> crazy. Oh, concussions are awesome. Jeff Crosby Jr., Kevin Freeze, still one and two, but this time they are down on the inside line. Last time these guys were on pit road was lap 15. I do think that we're going to have to hit pit road one more time. Nineteen trucks on the lead lap. Nate Warren in the two is the first truck, one lap down. Lynn McNeese about to be swallowed up once again. Eric Glory, Dustin Logston, two laps down. Dustin Logston, unfortunately, not able to dig himself out of the hole before. Several other trucks got put a lap down. Couple truck. Oh, big trouble. Here they go. Spinning going into turn number three. And that all started with a few trucks getting shuffled out of shape. Cody Neagle's involved in the six. Andy Brigante, Dana Shepard. Let's go on board with the six and Dave Hunt, hard impact driver's side. Hope he's okay.
Take another look here. Les Levy in the 62. So the first caution of the night comes out. And the field makes its way towards pit road. Everyone going to stop off, top off their fuel tanks here. Nate Warren in the two, I believe is going to receive the free pass. No, it looks like it's going to go to the 14 of Vicente Guerrero. So Guerrero gets the free pass and he gets back on the lead lap. So good break for the 14. So Ginger asking, can we get through this race with three cautions or less? I would say we we got a shot caution number one out there right now and we're we're close to halfway but let's do some internet gambling all right so the house the house calls call four cautions stage break is the wild card so you go over or under on the four cautions that the house has called so we know that there is a guaranteed caution break around lap 35 that is the house's wild card the house has to win as much as possible otherwise i'd go broke and we are gambling on internet bucks which is kind of like the same as if you gamble on uh cryptocurrency it's still internet bucks <laughs> sorry i'm making jokes tonight and they're not good none of them are so that being said Gamble your internet bucks away. The house calls four cautions. Stage break is the wild card, meaning I will count it or I will not. Either way, it plays out in the favor of the house. That's me, I'm house, because I'm as big as a house. Ask me how I know that. I went to the doctor's office. They weighed me. And I went, oof, junkie. All right, Ginger Parent, feeling lucky, says under. I dig it, Ginger, I dig it. All right, so one caution under our belt. One caution still to go for the stage break. So Ginger's saying there's only going to be two more cautions. That's a big gamble. I'm going to say, I'm going to say if, uh, if Ginger gets this one, right, that's that, that's a million internet bucks that will be deposited into her internet bank. Maybe even 2 million. We'll see.
Green flag is back underway. Ginger Parrot wants to go on an internet vacation. Ryan Decker, thank you very much for saying hello. Good to see you. Decker saying at least four more, so that makes Decker at five, putting him at over. So Decker, what uh, what is your internet bucks wager for this over bet? House calls for cautions. Adam Kilday, Kevin Freeze, Jeff Crosby Jr. and one truck braving the outside. That's the 88 of Gabe Butler. Down the back stretch and into turns three and four. Our first race of playoff contention is seeing a lot of these guys battle it out at the front of the field. But Hunt, Warren, and McNeese, along with Eric Laurie, early troubles here in this race before we even get to our, our stage break. Ooh, I'll tell you guys what. Uh, if the house wins tonight and you guys give me... Uh, uh, 400 real dollars and a billion trillion internet bucks. I've been looking at a better microphone and a better setup. And I might, I might pull the trigger. I might pull the trigger. Just saying. Up to y'all. I can either win real money and internet bucks, or you guys can win internet bucks. It's up to you. I don't care. All right. Doesn't bother me either way. Wink, wink, wink. But Ryan Decker's betting 250,000 internet bucks on the over. That is a huge bet. We're going to have to check that credit score to make sure he's good for it. So at the front of the field, Adam Kilday in the 85, along with the 88 of Gabe Butler. These two trucks looking very good. Kilday up seven spots. Right now, our biggest mover from where they qualified, well, that is none other than the 25 of Kevin Freeze. Breeze up 17 spots to be in the top three in that 25. He's the second truck on the inside line, pushing hard on the 88 of Gabe Butler. So here we go. We are inside of stage ending territory. Should we get a caution? That will do it for the stage. So the drivers know this and they're going to start pushing a little bit harder to try and stay out in front. Off of turn number two, Butler freeze, running one and two for the respective lines and Butler drops down to the inside. Just three laps to go, make it two and a half. Make it two and a quarter as they're in turns three and four now. Butler has the advantage. Anthony English in the 44. Trying to make something happen in the third lane. Everyone good on fuel. 
do have one truck trying to get up to speed. I believe that's the two of Nate Warren who stayed out to try and get a uh, wave around type break, but Nate Warren not going to get it. No, I said that's Dustin Logston. Logston tried to stay out as well. Warren in the two riding around all by himself. Warren did stay out. He's trying to nurse that fuel tank to the end of this stage. Oh, trouble. Caution flag comes out. Gabe Butler out in front when it happened. Jimmy Reynolds involved. Jeff Crosby Jr. getting a piece of it. Dave Hunt, evasive action, Lynn McNeese. Multiple trucks involved in this one. Tech Fritch in the 12. Right there in the eye of the storm when it happened. And so Gabe Butler is our stage winner. We have our second caution of the night. On board with Dana Shepard. Championship contender in the 43, able to get through it. We will let Gabe Butler hit pit road, make his pit stop. Then we'll pull him up and see what he has to say about this stage win. Everyone coming down pit road. This caution, a big, big break for the two of Nate Warren. It keeps him on the lead lap. So everyone coming down pit road. Anthony English in the 44, first one off of pit road. Cody Neagles and then Gabe Butler, your top three. Let's see if we can get a quick word in with our stage winner. That is none other than the 88 of Gabe Butler. Gabe, got your ears on, bud. I do, man. What's going on, Kara? Uh, man, I'm just sitting here talking about racing and how beautiful that 88 looks when it's out in front. Yeah, she's a pretty woman when she's out front. She uh, kind of turns into an ugly duckling at the back, but hey, we'll try and keep her pretty, right? Right. Well, you pick up the stage win here, man. And uh, I got to say, Ryan Decker is uh, he. Ryan Decker says the money is on you guys, you and Kevin. So you got a fan in the stands. Hey, listen, uh, if if we can stay clean, we got a chance. That's that's the only thing. But you know how it is a super speed race, man. Yeah, you, you could be leading the whole race and then boom over just like that but we'll see what happens all right gabe well tell us a little bit about that first half of the race what was going on out there that you were seeing i mean it was a lot of fun um i 
kind of slid my pits and ran out of fuel at the same time, so I kind of messed up and I got lucky in that caution. But otherwise, I thought it's been pretty good racing uh, up front, uh, pretty intense, good pushing, uh, good moves, and everybody doing a great job so far. So hopefully it stays that way. All right, man. Well, nice job on the stage win. Shout outs, thank yous. Anything you need to add before we let you go? Uh, just a big shout out to OP and all the admins. It's a lot of work uh, putting on these leagues. So, um, and of course, all the guys I'm running with tonight, uh, there's a bunch of us in there. We're just having a blast. And of course, yourself, KR, for your broadcast, man. Appreciate you, brother. All right. That is Gabe Butler. Gabe, were you in uh, Team 2 or Team 3? Eight. Uh, yeah, I can count that high. All right. Okay. I'll put you back, man. Thank you. That is Gabe Butler picking up. The stage win here tonight. So Butler, one of our playoff contenders. Sending an early message. Three races in total in this round with 16 drivers. And Gabe Butler scores big at the first opportunity. Race isn't over just yet, though. Anthony English in the 44 on the inside of row number one. Cody Neagles on the outside. That is our front row for this restart. Gay Butler, Kevin Freeze for row two. Row number three, Andy Brigante and uh, Zach Kafrat. Kafratati. Or, um, Zach Budweiser on the outside of row three. Here we go once again. Pace truck down and away. Green flag is up, and we get back after it here at Daytona for our first race in our playoff contention. With that green flag dropping, we want to point out we have 21 trucks on the lead lap. Eric Lurie, Andrew Schroeder, and Dustin Logston are not on the lead lap. Lurie scored 22nd, 23rd Schroeder, and Logston in 24th. Right now, Andrew Schroeder behind the wall. We'll see if he's going to get back out there. But with Schroeder being behind the wall, Logston has a shot at passing at least one truck. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you haven't done so yet and you are enjoying the show that these drivers are putting on for you please hit that thumbs up go ahead and let me know who you are cheering for in the second half of this race and don't hesitate to uncheer for somebody as i ask is that you do keep it respectful you can show your displeasure but no children do watch and can read. So Kevin in the 25 is our race leader. Lynn McNeese peeling off for pit road. This has got to be an unscheduled pit stop for McNeese. Not sure what has happened to the 84. Just trying to keep an eye on that one. The 25, the 12. One in the inside and outside lane respectively. And Kevin Freeze, big move, jumping up to the outside. Man, did he make that move suddenly and have to catch that truck. And Zach Fritch still wants no part of it.
McNeese still sitting on pit road, so his issues extend very deep. Andrew Schroeder in the 48 still has not rejoined the race. Looks like maybe his night is done as once again the 25 makes a bold move up to the outside lane, but this time the 44 Anthony English might have some momentum on his side to keep the 25 from making the move. And he does. Kevin Freeze gets caught out. No, now Zach Fritch is caught out. Three wide. Zach Fritch got shuffled out. And for a moment there, the 25 was the one in trouble and it ends up costing the 12. So McNeese rejoins the race. Two laps down, Dutch, Dustin Logston three laps down. Only one truck out, that is 48 of Andrew Schroeder. Two cautions so far here tonight. Cody Neagles in the six, getting a healthy shove from the 12. Kevin Freeze still doing all he can to make that truck as wide as possible. He has been from the bottom to the middle, back down to the bottom to the middle, back down to the bottom to the sideways out of control middle, and then made it all stick to the high side upside down and on fire but kevin doing all he can to make that truck very wide drivers last on pit road at our stage caution at lap 36 maybe even 35. That being said, no one can make it to the end of the race from here as we are working lap 45. Breeze once again drops down to the bottom as Kilday in the 85 hits pit road. He's joined by Robert Morrison. So two trucks on pit lane, early pit stops for them. They cannot make it to the end of the race. So they have one more pit stop. I am interested to see if any of these drivers can stretch their fuel tank to hit pit road in about six laps. Our first round of green flag pit stops, everyone hit pit road on lap 14 and 15. Well, we can usually make it about 17 to 18 laps on fuel. Hmm, it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting to see how this plays out. So far, there's only been zero cautions in this one, Ginger. So you're you're doing good at winning the internet bucks with the that under bet. Brian Decker says there's at least four more, and I don't know. Ginger's winning because there's been zero cautions. Ginger said the under. It is what it is. I mean, I make up the rules as I go along. I also don't remember what the previous rule was. So, yeah. 
good luck winning those internet bucks because I'm the one in charge of handing them out. And I'm stingy. Ooh, Cody Ningles, Kevin Freeze. Big moment there. Cody tried to throw the block. Wasn't there in time. Both drivers almost making contact, but they kept it under control and kept it clean. The freeze out in front. Do want to point out that Morrison is a lap down. Adam Kilday about to be swallowed up as well. Go on board with the 85 of Kilday as he looks out the back. You can see trouble is brewing. Sanchez into the wall. Zach Fritch gets out of shape. Yellow flag comes out. The 12 of Zach Fritch with a hard, hard impact. Along with Rick Sanchez. Let's back this up and see what happened. Coming off of turn number four, Sanchez slams the outside wall. Nate Warren getting a piece of it. Go on board with the five as they work their way past the 85 of Adam Kilday. Just a slight tap and the five is into the outside wall. And everyone taking evasive action behind. Now everyone's going to come down pit road this time, but no one can make it to the end of the race here on fuel. With that being said, guys, going to step away for a moment. No one go anywhere. We'll be right back after this.
Butt Kicker Gamer 2. What you see and what you hear is what you feel. Butt Kicker. The future is feeling. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, as the field is about ready to fire off. Once again, they make their way through turns three and four. Uh, that would be our third caution in total. Ryan Decker asking for my best DW. Oh, it's not very good, but we'll let her rip, man. Here we go. Pull them straps down tight one more time, boys. Let's go racing. Boogity, boogity, boogity. That's the best I got. Anthony English to the front. Cody Neagles in the six. Side by side into turn number one. Kevin Freeze, Richard Sanchez pushing hard on our front runners. Nobody can make it on fuel from here, so we have one more put stop. Ryan Decker says not bad. I feel good about that then. He didn't say it wasn't bad. He didn't say it was good. He just said not bad. Maybe I'll work on it, son. Who knows? That's a lot of words to say. And I am not Jaws, okay? I am not as fast of a talker as he is. I have been told that I am very sharp-witted and my tongue can lash a few people, but I am not Jaws. That man has said way more words than I think I ever So as the race continues on, with this final shot to the end of the event, we have 19 trucks on the lead lap. Adam Kilday in the 85 is the last truck on the lead lap. Kilday is all by himself. He is in trouble. He needs help. He needs a caution to get back into this one. That truck doesn't look too tore up. But it's very hard to ride around here without draft. So he has got to have a caution to get back into it. Robert Morrison, the first truck, one lap down. Lane McNeese. Also one lap down. Eric Glory, two laps down. And then out of the race, or at least behind the wall, that is Dustin Logston and Andrew Schroeder. And I will say that Schroeder is out of the race and Logston probably out of this race as well. So with all of that being said, our fuel window, we know these guys went 15 laps to start this race off. We have 15 laps to go, make it 14. Somebody is gonna hit pit road next time by. Keep in mind, we will use two attempts at a green-white checkered, should we need to. Also, I have to point out that the house lost count of how many cautions there are, therefore all Bets are null and void, and I get to keep all the internet bucks 
that you had. Thank you very much, Ryan, for your 250,000. <laughs> All right, one on the pit road. That is Lynn McNeese in the 84. Championship contender peeling off for pit stop. McNeese in trouble in his first race of playoffs. Playoffs? Talking about playoffs? So Lynn McNeese not having the race he would like to have to kick off his championship battle. Andy Brigante trying to make something happen in that third lane. Here they come. Several trucks on the pit road. Butler, Sanchez, Freeze, Winningham, Schramm. Reynolds, Levy, Shepard, all hitting pit lane this time. Nine trucks stay out. Those nine trucks being led by the six of Cody Neagles. One more stop here and everyone can make it to the end of the race, no matter what happens. on board with the six as he's going to peel off this time still wide open now he's on the brakes on the binders everyone behind him can they match his pace brakes locked up Ooh, several trucks big wiggle out of them but they held on to it we'll see if everyone got on cleanly every time you see a brake lock up man you, you gotta worry did they make it in time oh jeff crosby jr in trouble the 33 sideways oh big issue as he is trying to get into his pit box green flag pit stop issues for the 33. oh that is going to hurt his chances he is down and away but man is he going to lose out big time because of that Let's take a look at what happened to the 33. Oh, late contact there. Sent him around. All right, here we go. Battle at the front. The 85 of Adam Kilday is our race leader. Oh, three wide, almost making contact. Kilday was our race leader. Last time Kilday was on pit road was lap 51. We're working lap 60. Ooh, I don't, I don't think Kilday can make it to the end of this race. But man, when you were as far back as he was, you absolutely roll the dice and take the gamble that he has. He was all by himself running around as the last truck on the lead lap. Oh, and English still two hip checks to Kilday and English gathers it back in Kilday holds on to it as well we stay green Morrison McNeese one lap down Eric Glory as well out of the race Dustin Logston and Andrew Schroeder right now 19 trucks have a shot at winning this race Jeff Crosby Jr running around all by himself 
as a lead lap truck, Lynn McNeese in the 84, helping work with him, but McNeese not on the lead lap. And caution flag has come out. Several trucks in trouble, including Eric Lurie, Anthony English, and the two of Nate Warren. Let's see if we can figure out what happened here. Three wide Cody Eagles, a little bit of contact, big contact follows that. And then we have uh, one, two, nine, carry the alphabet and a six gets involved. All right, so I do believe, was that our fourth caution in total? Let's take another look here though. I wanna, I wanna look at this one one more time. Let's go on board with the six and you can see he is already being pinched. Gabe Butler in the 88 tucks in behind the pace truck. All right, so we had uh, the one caution at the, at the stage, that's the freebie. We had one before that, so that leaves it at one with the stage. We at three. We had three total cautions. If you don't count the stage break. I think so. This is the stage break is my freebie. So we had the one before the stage break. We had two after, after the stage. I think we have. I really need a statistician in my ear I do think I do think we're at three if you don't count the stage break we're at three the house called four meaning I can still say the stage break counts makes it four Ryan Decker chiming in saying that I am correct Ryan Decker for that, you earn 10 internet bucks. Butler, Sanchez, Fritch, Hunt, Neagles are top five as they run single file behind the pace truck. Robert Morrison, Dana Shepard sitting on pit road. Shepard been there a long time. Can he get back out there before he goes a lap down? I will say this caution has been the biggest benefit to the driver of the 85 of Adam Kilday. So Kilday, who was in big time trouble, had to make a pit stop while the field was swallowing him up. And now he has made that pit stop. And we have had this caution here and it has put kill day right back into the thick of everything. So the 85 has a shot. 
One driver I haven't talked a whole lot about here tonight, but doing an outstanding job. That is Bubba Winningham. He is up 12 positions. He is one of our biggest movers of the race. Bubba Winningham, though, not a championship contender. And therefore, I do have to point out that Adam Strom, one of our championship contenders, also up 12 spots from where he qualified, making him the biggest mover of the race. But he has extra incentive as he is a championship contender. You can see that by that uh, the purple. I'm not really sure what color I'd call that. It's not necessarily purple. It's like a, like, I don't know. We'll call it an OP Grand National Recognization. All right, so here we go. Pace truck down and away. Green flag back up with just a handful of laps left to go. On board with Dana Shepard, a championship contender who finds himself at the back of the pack after an extended pit stop. Shepard. Working to the outside of Lynn McNeese. Kind of tuck in behind Robert Morrison. Down the back stretch with the 43. Shepard has his work cut out for him with four laps to go. Meanwhile, at the front of the field, we are starting to get dicey. The 88 of Gabe Butler, the 12 of Zach Fritch. Contact there, good healthy shove from the 12 to the 88, surges ahead. Pretty sure I saw smoke off of one truck, not sure which truck it was. They keep going Dawson Wise in the nine, starting to fall back a little bit in that third lane. Why? Oh, contact, Les Levy gets pushed up and here we go, big caution. Yellow flag comes out as we have a big one coming off of turn number four. Dawson Wise up in smoke, grabs the gear and gets rolling. Several trucks involved in this one. On board with Lynn McNeese. He tries to pick his way through. Go on board with the 62 of Les Levy. Do have a few drivers coming down pit road as we take a look at the calamity that has gone on here. Morrison, Crosby, Warren, Shepard, all on the pit road.
And we go into our first attempt at a green white checkered. Rich, Butler, Neagles, your top three as they make their way down the backstretch. Let everyone make their pit stop, see how it all sorts out. But we will be in our first attempt at a green-white checkered Two attempts on the table if we need them. All right. Let me know. Do we have another attempt at a green white checkered or will this be it? And on top of that, let me know who you think is going to win. Um, first of all, Zach Fritch is powered by Budweiser. And each time we go into an extra lap, that means that that is one more beverage that he consumes. I don't know if I'd vote on him, but sometimes he gets lucky, so you can't count him out, right? Then Gabe Butler... He has the same situation. He maybe has a Guinness uh, drink, not the uh, world record, but just has a drink. And uh, yeah, I mean, these guys are on the front row. So it could be either one of them. But you got to watch out. Cody Neagles in the six, tucked in tight behind the 88. And old Sanchez. Nick Sanchez might have something to say before this is all said and done as he's going to restart on the outside of row number two. Vigente, the Italian stallion Guerrero on the inside of row number three for this restart. The outside is the 53 of Dave Hunt. Decker is rooting for Butler. And um, Ginger is letting me know then it is the playoffs. Thank you, Ginger. I might have forgotten that. And the winner will be the first car to cross the finish line. Yes and no. I have seen them say that the winner did win the race. But because of their actions to win the race, it did not mean they get to advance. So it could be either way, right? You'd like to see your playoff contender win the race and advance, but your playoff contender could win the race and be assessed a penalty and says, yes, you won, but no, you don't get to advance to the next round. Either way, pace truck down and away. Here we go. Green flag up in the air once again, and let's get back after it. First attempt at a green-white checkered. Butler, Fritch, side by side through turns one and two. Who's going to make a move to the outside lane first? Somebody has to do something. Might as well be me. That's how they're thinking right now. The 44 of Anthony English up to the high side, trying to build momentum, but falls back. Doesn't have it going just yet. Now Dave Hunt jumps up to the third lane. Hunt drives back down to the second. That third lane fizzled out just as fast as it formed twice in that lap. Several trucks out of shape. Can we get to the checkered flag? We do. Uh, white flag. Can we get to the white flag? We do. One more time around. Final lap here at Bumpy Road Daytona.
Butler has the advantage, but Fritch is going to build some momentum down the backstretch. Butler down on the inside. That's where you want to be to improve your chances, but that second lane can always build the momentum. Here they come off the turn number four. Butler and Fritch in a drag race at the line. Who's it going to be? Gabe Butler picks up the first win and advances into the round of eight. So Butler picks up the win. Not only that, but he had the stage as well. Maximum points for the 88. That young man is on a mission and he is strike. He is he has used his smoke stick to smite this field early. Yes, I just said that. So Butler in the 88, making another round and the house once again wins all of your internet bucks. Thank you very much for it. Let's go ahead and go through our race results as the 88 celebrates this race win. Gabe Butler in the 88 on the top spot. Zach Fritch brings it home in second. Cody Neagles in third. Richard Sanchez and Vicente Guerrero round out your top five. Dave Hunt, Anthony English, sixth and seventh. Eighth place goes to Adam Strom. Ninth is Jimmy Reynolds. Tenth place is the 84 of Lynn McNeese. 11th goes to Les Levy. Dana Shepard in 12th. Good recovery for the 43. Andy Brigante in 13th. 14th is David Booth. Nate Warren ends up in 15th. 16th goes to Adam Kilday. Jeff Crosby Jr. 17th. 18th place is Robert Morrison. Bubba Winningham in 19th. 20th goes to Kevin Freeze as the last truck on the lead lap. Then it is Eric Glory, Dawson Wise, Dustin Logston, and Andrew Schroeder bringing up the tail end of the field here tonight. So let's get our post-race interviews fired off, and let's start it off by talking to our race winner. We talked to him once already for a stage win, but now we get to talk to the 88 as our race winner. Gabe, congratulations, man. Hey, thanks, KR, and uh, thank you, Ryan Decker. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you what, uh, that uh, 88 looked bad fast here tonight, and I'll tell you, being the first race of championship contention, uh, are you are you are you staking your claim for that big title? I, uh, it is a long way to go, man. You know, I, there's no way I'm getting ahead of myself on this because uh, again super speedway racing never know it oh, all in tears as they say <laughs> it, it, it usually does you got to be at the right place at the right time right exactly well gabe a solid race out there a uh, very quick one just a few cautions out there couple green flag pit stops how did your race play out and what adaptions did you have to make um no major adaptions really uh just try and keep track position second half of the race i thought went pretty well um on that last restart there um got a great push from cody and uh vince there on the bottom so uh uh other than that i mean for bumpy road daytona i, I thought it was a really good race well, man, nice job. Picked up the stage and the race. Shout out, thank yous. Anything you need to add? Yeah, big shout out to uh, OP once again and their admins, UKR, for doing your wonderful broadcast. And uh, of course, uh, all the guys I was running with tonight, there was a bunch of us in there. We were, we were having a good old time and uh, enjoy racing with those guys each week. And um, 
it's always fun to race with different people uh it makes it really interesting and quite funny at times too so uh great job by all those guys and all the other drivers tonight appreciate everybody all right that is gabe butler the 88 brings it home once again here on wednesday night nice job man congratulations thanks buddy all right there you have it our race winner gabe butler getting it done but now let's move on to our driver who brought it home in second place that is none other than the 12 of zach uh is it is it zach ferrat ferrat ferrachi ferrachi ferrat for for free itchy yeah yeah something like that well <laughs> for for tit for Chichi, brought it home in second place. Zach, nice job, man. Appreciate you, KR. Couldn't have done it without Sanchez there in the back, pushing me all the way. He tried to give me a nice little shot there at the end to try to get it. So I definitely got to get a huge shot to Sanchez, pushing me all throughout that last green-white checkered. Well, Zach, man, it was a wild race from start to finish. We had several long green flag runs and then a couple couple big bangs in there in the middle and you found yourself caught up in more than one of them i did i did i was uh i was in two of them and the one i ended up actually causing myself because i i was trying to look three wide and ended up seeing that there was a uh i was all the way in the bottom lane and i seen a guy all, all the way up in the top lane so i thought i had the middle opening but i ended up side swiping him so then i tried to go down to the bottom and then there was a checkup right in the middle in the bottom lane, and I ended up tagging Booth on that one. I'd apologize to all the racers involved in that one, because KR was probably watching me and jinxed me like usual. No, right. I just think you're a menace. I mean, yes, uh, yes, it that, was my that fault. Too. That too. So, <laughs> so, yeah, I had to apologize, obviously, to the racers on that one. I did not want to try to cause that one, and it definitely skewed the wrong way that I intended. But uh, other than that, I mean, like I said, we recovered from that. Um, you know, grind a little solo there for a minute to try to, you know, refresh my mind and then got back with the team afterwards. And then, uh, yeah, I just ended up getting up here at the front and was able to try to end content for the win. All right, man. Well, solid second place finish to kick off our championship run. Nice job. Shout outs. Thank yous. Anything you need to add? Uh, I, I mean, I guess shout out to you, right? I guess you don't have to, but I mean, <laughs> I mean, Gabe Butler did, and he's gonna get more airtime next week. <laughs> but you don't have to; it's fine. <laughs> so if I say your favorite water, if I send you a case of your favorite water, you, uh, I get more, like yes. double the time. I mean, no, I mean, <laughs> I can't be bought, but I can be <laughs> convinced. Does does Uber d deliver water like that Grizzly. anymore? <laughs> Grizzly. Or Driz <laughs> Is it Drizzle? I think it's Drizzle. Uh, I don't, it's something it's something along Yeah, that. there's a couple of them. So, in a way. Yeah, anyways, yeah, shout out to you, dude. Uh obviously coming out and doing Wednesdays and Mondays with us. Always a pleasure of having you, especially doing OP, you know. Dedicate loyal broadcaster you are. All right, did, did I make you cry at all on that? No, I'm not coming back next Wednesday. <laughs> Shout out to OP and all of its admins. Shout out to all the fans watching. Appreciate every single one of you guys watching, cheering on your favorite driver, even if it's not me, I guess, which a lot of you guys aren't, so it's okay. <laughs> all right, man. Well, nice job bringing it home in second place. Once again, congratulations. Yep, thanks. That is Zach Fritch, driver of the 12. But now let's move on to the number six, who brought it home in third place. That is none other than Cody North Eagle. Hi. What's How up, Cody? Ya? Oh, man. I was getting getting pretty heated. Them boys were making it a challenge for me on the track, man. I don't feel like I've done a very good job of making friends out there by <laughs> seeing a whole lane just deteriorate as soon as I went there. Uh, Well, I'll tell you what. Lane's deteriorated quite a bit tonight. It wasn't just you. And it's difficult. They had a they had a good group. They had a very large group. 
And trying to figure out what the heck them guys were going to do, I mean, I don't know. It was tough. It was definitely a tough race and a well-earned uh, third place in my book. Well, I'll tell you, Cody, I've watched you a long time. If you're celebrating a third place win, then I know you had uh, you had to fight for it. So good to see you rise up to the occasion. Nice, solid third place finish, man. Yeah, I mean, they did a good job, Fritch and, and Gabe, of making They were running in the same Discord, and I got to admit, they did a good job of making sure I stayed pinned and didn't have a chance to get clear because that was the plan was, you know, Vince stays pushing me, and if, if we tandem with whoever, you know, was on the bottom, I was thinking I, I had already been kind of frustrated, kind of just, it's racing stuff. I know they're razzing me. I mean, it's Wednesday, but... I just was kind of at the point where whoever picked the bottom, I'm like, all right, I'm no lifting him and Vince is behind me. So I'm like, whoever's on the bottom is going to get a run and either they're going to win the race or I'm going to get clear to the mid. And if I get clear to the mid, you know, I feel like I'm going to have a chance to win it, which I never did quite get clear, but man, they got me hot 273 on water and very surprised. I didn't pop. All right, man. Well, nice job bringing it home. Good temp management there. You timed it perfectly because if you're surprised you didn't pop, but you made it to the end, that means you did it just right. Oh, yeah, definitely. All right. Shout outs. Thank yous. Anything else you need to say? Yeah, man, I want to give you a shout out for putting up with us for all these freaking seasons and years. What are we? Six years into this now. So shout out for everything you do, KR. Admins. Shout out to you guys, Jimmy, Fritch. Thank you for putting on this great league. I uh, want to thank my uh, limitless teammates tonight that I was running with. Vince Dawson, Rob Morrison, and uh, Dustin Logston was also running with us, but he had a little bit of technical failure, and uh, he had to start a little bit late in the race. But uh, we had a good, fun group tonight. Well, man, I'm glad you enjoyed it, your group, and I'm glad you had fun and brought it home in third place, man. Nice job. Congratulations. Thank you. That is Cody uh, North Eagles, Neagles for short. That'll do it for us here tonight, guys. I do hope you enjoyed the show. Hope you stuck around. If you haven't done so yet, please make sure you show your appreciation for the show that the drivers put on for you here tonight. It has no benefit to what I have done, but I do ask that you do it in benefit of our drivers. So with that being said, I'm going to leave you all with an outstanding advertisement. So until then, see y'all next time.